Once you have created the models in the Model Maker module of the Zircon modifier software, you can proceed with the printing. Ideally print with a temperature in the chamber between 24 and 30 degrees Celsius. Do not print if the temperature is below 18 degrees Celsius. To turn the heater on, select Heater and then click the On button. Shake gently the resin bottle for about 30 seconds to make sure pigments are mixed homogeneously and to avoid air bubbles. After that, open the printer chamber and fill the vat with the required liquid resin, paying attention to the maximum level marked. You have three possibilities to upload zip files via USB drive and via Wi-Fi through the Zirconzon OS website or the Zirconzon Slicer software. In the first case, plug in your USB, select Print, and choose the first icon on the left. Then, click on the file, confirm by pressing Yes, and wait for the uploading files. Alternatively, you can copy the IP address in the browser and open the Zirconzon OS website. In this case, select Plates in the setting bar and then click on Select File. In the opened window choose the desired file and go to Upload File. Once the saving process in the Slicer software is completed, you can send files directly to the printer by copying the IP address and clicking on Upload. At this point, press the Print button on the printer touch panel. Click on the printing file and confirm. Make sure the front door is properly closed before starting the printing process by clicking on Yes. If during printing the resin level drops, refill the resin vat. Open the printer chamber but do not pause the printing process. Then, pour the resin slowly into the vat as the building plate moves up. Once the resin vat is refilled, close the printer chamber. Once the printing process is completed, remove the printed objects carefully to prevent any accident or damage. After removing the building plate, wash the models in a bowl full of water and then clean the plate using a tissue. Once finished, slide the metal scraper under the model with no too much inclination and with the smoothed edge facing upwards. Remove the model without putting pressure on it to avoid distortions. Finally, check for any traces of cured resin on the building plate. In a washing up bowl full of water, clean the model with a soft bristle brush until its surface is completely clean. In case of hollow models, clean also the inner parts. Immerse the models in the ultrasonic cleaner with water at room temperature for 10 minutes. After that, take the models out. And dry them with compressed air. If the model is not completely cleaned and dried, white spots will appear after curing followed by the possible risk of sticky surfaces and model cracking. To take the supports off, you can use scissors, just your fingers or a scalpel. Then, using a burr finish the housing of the die to remove excess resin caused by the bottom layers. Once finished, plug in the power cable of the L300 post curing lamp and cure the dies for 10 minutes. Turn on the device by pressing the power button and click on M to set minutes. Then, long press the upper key to increase time quickly. Press the power button once again to start the curing process. Cure the dies separately from the model to avoid the die housing from shrinking, preventing a perfect fit. 
Once the curing process is completed, take the dyes out. Using a brush, apply a thin layer of Vaseline on the green displayed surface to ensure the dye insertion and removal. At this point, insert the prepared dyes into the models. Check the model base to make sure all dyes have been placed correctly. And then cure the model together with the dyes for other 10 minutes in the post-curing lamp. Finally, verify the restoration fit and check the opening, closing as well as laterotrusive movements with the functional and easy-to-use Zircon's on Mini RDZS-1.